percentage of the body parts found across Long Island were released without bail. That's right. Good days. Briella Tomasetti joins us now with the charges these four now face and why they've been released. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Dan and Tashani, we've been following this so closely for the past week, and those four suspects have not been charged with murder, which essentially means they're free to go until they're due back in court or until they face more charges. Prosecutors say the suspects who share a home in Amityville went through barbaric lengths to get rid of the bodies which were allegedly mutilated before they were disposed. Officials in Suffolk County blamed the state for letting them go. Investigators spent nearly a week hunting for the people who allegedly chopped up two dead bodies and scattered their remains across Long Island. Yesterday, all four suspects accused of the heinous crimes were freed on supervised release. I don't know what you're talking about. 44-year-old Stephen Brown, 38-year-old Jeffrey Mackey, 40-year-old Amanda Wallace, and 33-year-old Alexis Nieves shielded their faces from cameras after they appeared before a judge in Central Islip. They pleaded not guilty to hindering prosecution, tampering with physical evidence, and concealing a human corpse. The suspect's lawyers denied any wrongdoing. As far as I can see from the get-go, this case is based upon a lot of assumptions. We maintain our innocence. We look forward to receiving uh, discovery and, and uh, whatever evidence they have. Suffolk County District Attorney Ray Tierney released a statement blaming the state's bail reform laws for allowing the suspects to walk free explaining that charges relating to the mutilation and disposal of murdered corpses are no longer bail eligible. The suspects were not charged with murder in connection with the killings of the two victims, a 53-year-old man and 59-year-old woman. But prosecutors say police recovered meat cleavers, butcher knives, and blood while executing a search warrant at their home in Amityville. And while the suspects are free to go, at least for now, they can't return to that home because the plumbing was damaged during the extensive investigation. The four were released with GPS monitoring and ordered to remain in Suffolk County. They'll also have to report to probation officers at least once a week. But as you may imagine, there are still so many questions about this case, considering police have yet to publicly identify the victims and their relationship to the suspects also still unknown.